talk about how to use the iPad, a very simple computer device, to record music, multi-track music, uh, songs with multiple instruments uh, that you may play or you may not play. You may just play them on the iPad itself. We're going to use the iPad 2, uh, just a 16 gig Wi-Fi only model, the basic one that costs about $500. We're going to add to that a, an interface, some little box outside of the iPad to boost the signal going in. And if you have a condenser mic like I do, an Audio Technica 2020, uh, you need something to provide a little bit of voltage to the microphone in order to make it work. And it comes out of here, it's powered by two AA batteries inside here. So this whole unit is portable. You could pick it up and go sit in a park and record a song if you so chose. So I've connected my AT2020 to the Tascam IXZ mic and guitar interface. Uh, I've turned on the um, microphone mode and the phantom power. And I've turned the uh, audio almost to the maximum in order to get a good bounce on my uh, needle in the recording program. I can monitor what I'm going to be uh, recording by plugging a set of headphones, or in this case earbuds, into the back of that box. The reason you don't plug it into the iPad is because the output of the iXZ goes into the headphone outlet of the iPad itself, which has an option for an input. And there are a few other interfaces that do this as well, um, but the iXZ is the one that I found that works pretty well. So I plugged in my earbuds, I'm going to put them in my ears. And we're going to start doing a song. We're going to go to uh, GarageBand, which is a $5 app for iPod. And we're going to select a new song. And when you select new song, it asks what you want your first track to be. And I'm going to choose audio recorder that is a microphone going in. When you get there, you will see a giant VU meter. Uh, the meter uh, senses when you're talking and uh, gives you the bounce of the uh, uh, needle just like if you were sitting in a recording studio. Now my first song is going to be with the ukulele. Uh, one more thing, GarageBand is only one track at a time. I could sing and play at the same time, but when I got them into GarageBand, I couldn't then boost the voice over the ukulele or the ukulele over the voice. So the only way to uh, be able to adjust those later is to keep them separate. And uh, even if I were to put a microphone on the ukulele and on a separate one on my voice, they would still bleed together because uh, the, the sound would travel. So what we're going to do is we're going to play the ukulele, then we're going to sing another second track with our voice on it, and then we're going to add other things to fill in this song. So here we go. We're going to, uh, we've opened our track. We've uh, most importantly gone to the uh, the length song length and chosen automatic, so that uh, or uh, so that it will go as long as it will record as long as I'm playing the song. So here we go. We're going to do the song Kaneohe, which we're going to play in F. I'm not going to use any kind of a metronome because it's very for an amateur. It's very hard to play with the metronome all the way through a song. So here we go. Wasn't very good. Try again. Okay, now we've got the ukulele track in. The ukulele track sets the speed, the tempo of the entire song. So we'll just We'll just go with whatever that says. Now I've rearranged the microphone to be a vocal mic. I'm going to sing the main vocal into the mic. So that means I need to go to GarageBand and open a new uh, track. I'm going to choose Audio Recorder again because I want to use this, not one of the built-in instruments in GarageBand. We'll get to that. So I've got my lyrics out. I know the song fairly well, so that's not going to be a problem. I'm going to use my earbuds monitoring through the Tascam IXZ to hear the ukulele track as I sing. Here we go. Ula paka huila ikane ohe 
So now that I've done my vocal and my ukulele, I have the basis for the song. I have the tempo down. I know where the words go. And if I play other instruments, I can fit them around the tempo and the words that are already there. Now I'm going to play a virtual guitar. I'm going to use the guitar in GarageBand to uh, play background to the ukulele. Okay, now that I've got my ukulele, my live ukulele track, my vocal, and my uh, virtual guitar, I'm going to play virtual bass. I'm going to switch to bass and start recording by tapping on the screen. So that's it. I've recorded a uh, solo ukulele. I've recorded my vocals to help spot where the words go. I've added an acoustic guitar by tapping on the screen and I've added an acoustic bass by tapping on the screen. And here's what it sounds like. So for an amateur who wants to play a guitar or ukulele, uh, sing, maybe add a couple more tracks, this is an ideal way to get a desktop set up with an iPad, an interface, some kind of inexpensive interface, a cable, a condenser microphone that should uh, handle virtually everything you want to uh, record and then virtual instruments built in for an extra guitar player, bass player, keyboard player, synthesizers, drums, that kind of thing. If you have any questions just post them below and I'll try to answer them uh, about recording with the iPad, GarageBand and an interface like the Tascam iXe. Thank you.